Good evening. Welcome to Ridge Life Ramblings. I'm Tim, and today I am on the road. Not heading home from work. I'm heading to Nashville, or actually uh, northeast of Nashville, Lebanon, Tennessee. Lebanon, Lebanon, however you want to pronounce it. It's not in Israel, okay, guys? It's not in Israel. Speaking of Israel, Jin Jin was over last night. Luckily, she made it fine and uh, got a notification on a text from work because work is um, just south of Memphis. Got a text from work saying over the weekend, the 55 Mississippi River Bridge, uh, well, the bridge crossing the Mississippi at Memphis, uh, the 55 was shut down due to maintenance all weekend. Okay, they, so, but we had the 40 bridge, Interstate 40 bridge by the Bass Pro Pyramid, you guys know downtown, Mud Island, Memphis. Well guys, protesters shut it down. Shut it down. They closed both lanes going into Arkansas and into Tennessee. And their reasoning, apparently, was to support the terrorists in Palestine. You know what, that's going on in Israel right now. Um, you know, the, I'm not getting into politics or anything, I'm just telling you what happened in Memphis. But uh, the backstory, um, some Palestinians, terrorists, jumped over into Israel, killed like 1,200 innocent civilians that were partying and you know celebrating, having a good time. It was all a coordinated, planned attack. Well, Israel had enough and eventually uh, responded and um, was going to war in the, the Gaza Strip against the Palestinians, the terrorists who did this. And it's been going on for a while. You guys have surely heard about it in the news. Well, a bunch of people are upset because they're calling it genocide of the Palestinians because, you know, innocent people are getting killed. Well, the problem is the terrorists are embedding themselves in civilian populations. And uh, when you do that, when terrorists do that, they're expecting to be protected by the civilians, their presence. So the good guys won't kill the bad guys when the bad guys are surrounded by good guys. But in war, that's not always the case. Sometimes you have what's called collateral damage. And that's a terrible, terrible thing to say a human is collateral damage. But there are still hostages. These um, terrorists have kept hostages. They've raped, murdered, pillaged, you know, beheaded, did all that crazy stuff. Well, there's people that are supporting that. They're um, saying that the Israelites are wrong for invading Gaza in retaliation to this atrocity in Israel. And it, it, war is terrible. War is bad on both sides. Um, but to really support that, uh, I, I just don't get it. And to shut the bridges down so people can't get to the hospital at Le Bonheur Children's Hospital in Memphis, St. Jude's Children's Hospital in Memphis, ambulances can't get across the bridge. It's repugnant. It's despicable. They did the same thing, you know, a couple years ago when the um, BLM did it, shut down the bridge in Memphis. Ambulance tried to get across, couldn't. Uh, just crossed the Tennessee River a little bit ago, guys. I'm heading into the mountains of Nashville. And guys, to me, they're mountains. You know, I live on a ridge, and uh, these are mountains. Beautiful rivers, oh my goodness. Uh, I, I, this is just some gorgeous country right here. And um, been on the road an hour or so now. Uh, well, actually longer now, about two hours. The trip's about three hours long to get to where I'm going. I'm, gonna, I'm going to Lebanon, Le Lebanon, Lebanon, and um, staying at a hotel there to get up tomorrow morning and go to um, Red Boiling Springs, Tennessee, and then Moss, Tennessee. Those two locations. You're like, Tim, what are you doing there? I was like, man, have you been under a rock? You don't know where I'm going? I'm like, super excited. Tomorrow we make it official. I'm gonna be meeting um, my friend Dan from Honest Abe Log Homes at Eco Panels of Tennessee. I'm gonna be meeting their uh, YouTube 
host that hopes hosts their YouTube channel for Equal Panels of Tennessee. You know, he's been all their all their videos. Gonna meet the president of the companies. That would be Eco Panels of Tennessee and Honest Day Blog Home. Josh. Get to meet Josh to hopefully do a little interview with him. Give them some Ridge Life swag while I'm there. Then I'm gonna get to get a tour of the Sips Panel Factory. Um, I said the only thing I really can't uh, video is the press. They have a, a copyrighted uh, way of doing things with their sit panels, and they don't want the Chinese to get a hold of it. So I'll I'll, uh, I'll video and then probably show them the give them a link so they can review everything. Make sure there's nothing in there they don't want not you know seen or seen. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then from there, uh, Dan and I are going to head over to. Um, Honest Day Blog Home, and then that's when I sit down with the architect, the drafter, <coughs> and start putting pen to PC, if you will, for my log home plan, or my timber frame barn dominium plans. Super excited about seeing it, you know, done up professionally. You know, before it's just the drawings that I did. Now we're going to see the professional drawings of my vision of this timber frame sips panel barn dominium Ooh, hot coffee hot coffee it has been raining all day uh, beautiful day yesterday Jen and I had our first uh, fire pit of the year it was actually in the 70s yesterday in West Tennessee and uh, I uh, worked on the Kubota all day and I changed the oil in the beast here. Got 15 quarts of oil changed out, change oil filter in the uh, Ford F-250 trimmer. Got that done and she's running like a top, purring like a top, purring like a kitten. Mm -hmm. And um, so got all that taken care of, Kubota, the, the, the F-250, and then Jim, Jen and I um, made a fire in a fire pit, ordered a pizza. Went and got a pizza, ate that, gave Grandma Carol a little cheese bread, she liked that. And um, we made a fire, and goodness gracious guys, it was a beautiful, beautiful evening. Now right there around 9.30 or 10 p.m., it started to sprinkle. And uh, we uh, jumped on in the, the ridge crib there and uh, listened to the sound of the rain on the tin roof, or it's actually a rubberized roof on the RV, but you know what I mean. Listen to the sound of the rain and the camper, and it was just, just beautiful, just beautiful. Got up this morning, went to church with Grandma Carol, and uh, talking about joy and how God is holy, holy, holy. Uh, John chapter five, I believe we we're uh, uh, studying out of, and uh, it was a blessing. Always a blessing to go to church. Um, Lots of people in prayer, lots of people in need, lots of people rejoicing birthdays. So um, um, shout out to church there in Macon, Tennessee. Beautiful day. So yes, raining, raining, raining. And then now that I'm getting to Nashville, it, it's, it, it's starting to uh, lighten up a little bit. It's not raining right now. The clouds, still cloud cover. And hopefully behind me, maybe you can see all these uh, cliffs from these mountains I'm driving through. Probably need to get over into the right lane. You yeah. know, since I am uh, rambling here, I'm not going very fast, and I don't want people to have to pass me on the right side. I think a few of them already did. <sighs> yeah, so I'm going just uh, northeast of Nashville, and uh, I'm super excited. I uh, will be putting money down on my package, though. Uh, I'll be basically putting money down for the uh, architectural drawings, and it's $2,500, guys. $2,500, and that goes towards, once you purchase um, your uh, timber frame package, uh, that $2,500 will be taken off the price of that. If I decided not to go with the timber frame package, uh, then I would just have my plans for $2,500. That's why they're so expensive. But it's just like we did with the log home. You know, we did Grandma Carol's uh, log home from Honest Day Blog Homes. Put the money down, I think it was 2,000 then for the drawings. And uh, they started 
you know, working on her, because her drawings were, you know, custom as well, but they started with a log home basic design. Mine were starting with my basic design, you know, and I don't know nothing about architecture, so, and structural soundness, so hopefully they can put my ideas to some sort of, you know, you know, feasible plan, but I think, I think it will. I think I, I think I got it down pretty good, hopefully. And thank you guys again for the help, and Rebecca for the help. You guys have continued to give me awesome feedback on where things should go and uh, you saw my latest plans in the last uh, Ridge Life video. If you haven't, go over and check it out. Uh, completely changed the inside uh, layout uh, based on you guys' feedback. And there's a couple more suggestions. I might uh, make some changes since then. We're getting into some traffic here. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> Leaving out at, uh, where I live I think it was 170 miles before the first turn. <laughs> Jumped on Interstate 40 and it's like 170 miles and then I'll get off and I think I'll be right at my hotel. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? <sighs> Deer season is over, officially. It is February. Happy February, everyone. I need to get out and uh, get the pop-up blind out of the woods and uh, get all that secure. Still got to get the uh, ATV rescue done. Uh, I did go out and try to get it started the other day. It put some fresh gas in it and that didn't help. I was planning on doing it yesterday but working on the side-by-side -side and then the the F-250 um, took a lot longer than I expected. Really the reason it takes so much longer to do something is because I filmed it. I filmed a uh, how-to um, repair the Kubota uh, the fuel filter and air filter and that fuel filter you know where it's located is kind of kind of kind of tricky so I filmed a how-to on that and then I also filmed Ridge Life video for it so the how-to has the part numbers of the filters and you know the size of the wrenches and, and how to get to it and all the little you know techie things uh, the Ridge Life video would just be you'll see me, me change working on the Kubota you know uh, time lapses and you know fun fun little things like that and I'll add that, add that to some other uh, video of, of work around the ridge, probably for for a, an overall fun ridge life video. I, th I think you'll enjoy it. Got the pressure washer out, had to get all that mud off and everything, and got myself just all splattered down. That was that was pretty fun. Not a wet t-shirt contest, guys. Okay, not a wet t-shirt contest, guys. No, it was just me. Okay, you're not gonna get to see Ginger in a wet t-shirt. No, you're not. No, no, no. <laughs> Speaking of wet t-shirt. I don't know how that came about, but um, um, big plans for this summer. Um, already planning a Memorial Day float trip with uh, Jen and her friends. That's something they do every year. It's going to be uh, on the current river in Missouri. Uh, you know, you saw Jen and I and uh, her friend Candace uh, float that last year. Well, they, they do a Memorial Day float there, and uh, that should be fun. This coming weekend, obviously, we're going to... Uh, Connecticut, Vermont, and New York. I'm gonna go see Niagara Falls and Canada. Canada. We're gonna cross, gonna cross the river and go into across the lake, Lake Erie, right? And uh, go stay in uh, Niagara, the Canadian side. Spend Valentine's Day up there. Hopefully, you guys have some fun things scheduled for Valentine's with your significant other. Make sure you make them feel wanted and appreciated. That's the most important thing. When you stop feeling wanted and appreciated, you stop communicating, you stop communicating, and bad things happen. I speak from experience. Not calling any blame. It just, it's just not good. It's not good at all. So, learn from my mistakes. Oh, guys, it's so pretty out here. So pretty. It kind of does remind me of over in uh, Arkansas, you know, the, the Mount Magazine area. But Tennessee just has something different. I don't know what it is. It's a, you know, it's, it's a lot more rural in Arkansas, I think. Now there's, there's rural areas in Tennessee, obviously. But man, there is some money over here too in these hills. Um, you get around Franklin, Tennessee, south of Nashville. Just gorgeous over there, right? But man, it's expensive to live there. Goodness gracious. And all, all around uh, the Nashville area, it's just so expensive, but it's beautiful, beautiful. But in uh, Arkansas, it's just as beautiful and not near as expensive to live, that's for sure. So I would love to buy some property over around the Framley one of these days. 
and uh, gotta finish what's going on the ridge first get my um, timber frame barn dominium done get some uh, get the barn up get the animals get all that stuff going make sure grandma carol's you know taken care of and uh, i might get some property over there in arkansas and have a place to visit uh, the family and not have to you know mooch off them of course you know they always make it so welcoming Speaking of welcome, welcoming in the family, uh, March 1st, I'm going to be heading over to uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas. I'm going to go see Blackberry Smoke in concert with uh, Jin Jin, of course, Lindsay Into the Mist, and Drew, Drew's Lens, Drew's Lens Reacts. Going to go see the concert with them. Thought that would be fun. Take them out, have a good time. Then I'll be staying with David from Come On Homesteading. Yeah, he's going to let me and Jin Jin spend the night with him there Saturday night then we'll come home Sunday so it should be a fun time out there see uh, Drifting Dreamers 5 and because uh, Jin Jin's been to the mountain one time but she's never spent the night there when we went up there we spent the night at Mount Magazine State Park that was a fun trip wasn't it? oh goodness that was a fun trip Christmas time celebration but yeah Jin Jin will actually get to spend the night on the mountain come on mountain I believe we'll stay in the cabin not the tiny house, but the, the old abandoned cabin. And uh, he's got a loft bed up there. Hopefully, uh, that, I think that's how he's going to get us set up. It don't matter. He can put us anywhere as long as we get a place to sleep. We'll be happy. Jin Jin likes it cold, so we can go over about getting cold. Man, there are highway patrol on the highways everywhere today. Good thing I'm driving slow. Oh, I needed this coffee so bad. I needed it so bad. So, hopefully you guys have seen oh, Mama V, Possum Run Homestead, get her uh, roof put up by the, the family. Man, they did a great job. I've been watching the videos for everybody. Uh, Drew's Lens, White, uh, White Rock, uh, Possum Run. Uh, let's see who else was over there. Of course, Jen and Wiley, um, Mel and Gary, uh, Junk to Jim's Gary also. Call him Gumby. Uh, Drifting Dreamer 5 was there. Uh, Roxanne was there from Country Road Cure, but uh, Anthony had a bad back. David uh, had to meet his appraiser for the property he's buying, so but he showed up the next day and gave gave a help. So I wish I could have been there. That looks like, it looks like a really fun time. I I am not good on heights though. That's why I'm building my uh, barn dominium with uh, the the side sloped roofs, and then the so my roof slopes will be um, very very slightly sloped. Uh, what is that? A six twelve? No, four twelve. Four inches up for every 12 inches over probably that or less because i do not like steep roofs so uh, if you remember how my old barn was you could get up on the side roof and then you jump up on the top roof and that's exactly how i want to do it this way so just need a ladder to get up on the side piece and then I climb up and it's almost flat you know what i mean we have no snow load here so snow snow is not an issue well guys I hope you enjoyed this little ride uh, through the mountains here in uh, central Tennessee. We're not in West Tennessee right now. We're in central Tennessee. Um, East Tennessee is where the real mountains are, the Appalachians, the Smoky Mountains. And uh, hopefully I'll be taking you through there very soon when Jin Jin and I uh, go on our trip. We'll be staying our first night. We'll be staying in Virginia at uh, Natural Bridge. So uh, I'm not sure if we'll be going up uh, all the way across Tennessee or getting up into Kentucky into Virginia. I always forget uh, which way we'll be going uh, but it should be a beautiful ride nonetheless and then uh, get up the next day go see the natural bridge there in Kentucky and then head on to Connecticut and spend the night with my sister and uh, get to that be Super Bowl Sunday I'll get there Super Bowl Sunday should be a fun time spend some time with the family there up in Connecticut and then head over to Vermont at the my dad's cabin on the lake there and then we'll head up into the mountains and go snowmobiling Stay there a couple days and then head to Niagara Falls. See Niagara Falls in the winter. Hope everything's froze over and beautiful. And uh, then head home. Should be a great, great trip. So I appreciate y'all riding with me today. And um, I'm going to get back to watching this traffic speed up a little bit. Okay. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling. And go to Ridgeline.